So hi guys and welcome back. What we will do today is a quick unboxing review of the Fuxia X80-1200M 16-9 camera. This is a CMOS camera. This is not a CCD camera. But the CMOS camera, you can already see it because it says, yeah, both BAL and NTSC are supported. You don't need a specific camera for that. It comes with a wide input voltage and your regular sized 2.8 millimeter lens which you can of course change if you like so let's see what we have in here as usual for cameras from fox here in this case a wave zone it comes with a really nice manual so i will just quickly go through this manual for you you can press stop at any point if you see something of interest for you. As you can see, this comes with your full set of OSD settings. So this is nice. Day and night settings and so on. Which is, well, if I might say, actually not that usual for a CMOS camera because usually only the CCD cameras will actually let you do all of these settings or many of these settings well at least it's not common for the cmos cameras to have that well let's see what we have in the box let's just do a quick unboxing and as you can see these are your usual cables for power input and video output uh, 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 from the camera, power input to the camera and then which is quite nice is that we have these mounting brackets here which will let you easily mount this camera uh, with a tilted angle at a tilt. What we also have here of course is the camera itself. Let's take a look here. And I really like it. <laughs> I know I say that often, but I do. <laughs> because it comes so nicely packaged and it actually doesn't feel that heavy. So it also has a nice sticker on the back. Uh, quality control passed, of course. Uh, what is really nice is this nicely uh, labeled uh, pin out here. It says your input voltage, uh, uh, the pin for connecting your OSD, your uh, video out and your ground uh, so this is really nice it it feels like well good quality you know because of this casing and so on take a look at the lens it also is nicely says here the 2.8 millimeter ir lens so this is nice it looks really nice okay and of course, as I said, this supports full OSD and of course comes with your small OSD controller. This is another thing which I really like about the surveil zone or, or Fuxia cameras, that they will always include this uh, little uh, controller, OSD controller, this push button controller with it. But this is a really nice thing because many do not. So what we will take a look at now is of course the weight of this. And let's see, as we can see this comes in at 12 grams, including this casing and so on, which of course protects your camera nicely. To just have a comparison, this is one of the cheap CMOS cameras, which you can get, uh, sorry, one of the cheap CCD cameras, which you can get from Banggood. And this one comes, well, a bit heavier at 13 grams, but this one, of course, does not offer all this protection and so on, which the smaller CMOS camera from Foxia offers. Let's also take a look at the actual size of this, which will be relevant when you try to mount it. Okay, so come on, little focus here we are. And as you can see, so that's 26 millimeters. Maybe if you take this little holder for the brackets, it's even 29 millimeters in width, 
without it it's 26 millimeters in width and the height of it is also 26 millimeters so you could say this is a 26 times 26 millimeters camera and the width of it is 28 millimeters without the little plug here with the little plug here oh yeah come on yeah there you go it's about 30 millimeters so this is quite nice what we will do now is i will quickly assemble the bracket for it and show it to you as well so the bracket itself can be seen here uh, it also comes at almost no weight let's take a look at the weight of the bracket here give you an idea and yeah my scales won't even register it so that is well below to well below one gram actually <laughs> it also comes with your screws here of course which will allow you to mount this camera you know it has this little windings here where you can just screw the screws in to mount it on the bracket and what is really nice is you can mount this at three different heights as you can see here and I will just put that in here for you to show it to you at the, at the highest setting if you want to and you can see this will nicely enable you to tilt this camera and then just screw the screws in and it will stay at your preferred tilt let's try the other setting here once here and once here okay and again this will give it a bit of a, of a lower profile as you can see and will still let you nicely tilt it all in all this is a really nice camera i really like it it's lightweight it offers protection which is really nice you always need protection you know and it feels high quality actually so now it's time to take a look at some dvr video for you of course so that you can yourself assess the image quality of this board cam so well enjoy so here I have the camera mounted on my mini FPV wing and I have to say I'm given the, the white snow and the bright sunlight it works really great I did not expect this from a CMOS camera because uh, usually they will darken out usually their contrast will be very low especially when flying uh, or straight against the sun but this camera does not have this tendency you can see it here now flying straight against the sun and there is no darkening out and even the white snow still uh, is recognizable on the ground so well this is really not behaving like a cheap CMS camera but more like a high quality CCD camera I really like that the only thing I should do for my next flights is maybe to reduce the exposure of the camera a bit because you can see that the snow has some blown out highlights but thanks to the uh, OSD this is uh, possible, I can do this and then I guess it, the snow will look even nicer so I will just let you watch the remainder of the DVR video uh, just so that you can well for yourself decide if you like this camera or not I would love to get your comments below in the comment section to hear what you think about this oh and please stay tuned for my most excellent landing in the end <laughs>
Okay, so <laughs> great landing, wasn't it? Even on the ground, I'm hunting those pixels. <laughs> so thanks for watching the DVR footage. And if you liked my review, uh, please leave a thumbs up. And I'm looking forward to see you next time.